drastic, drunken stagger to the bed, coming home to the queen, trying to lay back and reveal the canvas of my hand. Being as I may be, staggering and falling all over the furniture, yet then would, thinking in my mind I should have slowed down when I had should. Late nights coming in with no curfew upon myself for the respect of the house of the king and the queen. Trying to jiggle the keys and slowly walk in and trying to feel within. She is asleep in her slumber awaiting the sea. Does he know what time she be at home? Not that he's on a child's segment of life. So as I walk up the stairs, I'm trying to be swift and smooth. Drunken night, drunken body running through my soul and my mind. As I know that the queen sits there and laid down in her comfort. Bundled in between two royalties of silk. So I'm moving. My mouth is moist as if I sat down and drunk a true glass of milk. Oh no. I can't move. My pockets are jiggling. Everything is making noise. So I try to calm myself. I try to pause and take my breath and make the right choice. As I move, I grab my hand on the banister to try to keep my stability. The drunken man, drunk man walk. The mumbling of the mouth. You would feel that I can't speak. The king can't talk. To feel that 150 done going down my body of a car that burned. Try to lift my shoulder. God damn it, I'm trying to lift my arm. Will she awake while I'm walking up the stairs? I'm talking to myself in a drunk man's voice. I don't care. These stairs are mine. People are always acting like they're just theirs. So as I walk, as a king should, one hand with the invisible bottle that I put down into my belly and my gut. I'm trying to talk to myself, motivate myself all the way up. I can see it. The top of the stairs. All I'm in this cut. Is the queen going to wait and see me singing songs to myself? Or I'm going to disrupt? As I finally get up there, I take a glance back and see just debris of my clothes and boots pulled from the door as I walked in from the drunk man's drunken. I'm thinking at the top of the step. Well, damn, at least I made it home, but how the hell I got up here to do something? Running my mind, looking down this long hallway as it seems to get longer and longer. It's long. My room looks so far, even though my hallway is just a bit short. But damn, I feel gone. But good, yes. I'm going to make it. But before I even make it to the bed to creep on up in there, I ain't did nothing. Just a couple drinks at the bar and having some fun and a couple of lies at the bar cracking jokes. And my head tilting back bumping. But hey, let me go ahead and stop by this faucet and this porcelain guard in the bathroom to relieve this burning inside my stomach. Go in there, arm across the porcelain, relieving myself of all the poison that I put in my body, hoping that I don't awake the queen. But after I'm done hawking and early in my life, I just take off the rest of my remaining clothes and try to find me some cold on my body like ice. I need this. Room spinning. Illusion in my mind. I'm getting dizzy. I ain't winning. Pinning my arm against the wall as I stagger out the door. 
thinking, what the hell did I do to myself? Why I do this for? I should have just went ahead and just got me a beer. But I had to go harder with that one done to make a man get that breeze across his eye and make him shed a tear. So I walked to the room and down the hallway, she's asleep. No eyes, no peep. No hey, love, no greet. One leg out, one leg in, pretty feet. Only thing on my mind to lay down in this bed as smooth as possible. I won't make a noise, not even make a beat. Yes. I slide in there, I push that lock. It didn't make not another volume. I got in that bed and I slided one half of my side in there and creeped the other left and the springs went, mm, he's here. And that be me. <laughs> so I thought I was all good. Didn't get a queen, no warning, no call to tell her, baby, I'm drunk, I need you to come get me. <laughs> so I felt that I was right. Until I lay down in the bed and the queen was inside. Oh, in my mind, all I can see is four of her. Oh, this queen gon' bite. So I ain't gon' play no games. She said, where you been? Why you come in the house so late? Don't you know what time it is? Ain't you got some respect for our fate? I say, damn woman, calm down. Please don't take the joy out of my drunk. Look at my face. Baby, I just had a couple of drinks and a couple of glass. Why don't you calm down and give me some of that? <laughs> so she say, no, no, you been out there creeping. I say, why would I do that when you the only thing that I love. What you mean, thing? You are the only thing, my sense of my beginning, my end, baby. You always talk smooth, especially when you get drunk. Hey, baby, it ain't like I went out and got no other drug other than your blunt. Let me hit that. She say, oh, you so funny. I say, baby, I apologize as a man. But dang, can't I have a little fun with my brother Ann's at the bar? She said, what happened to how you get here? How the hell your drunk ass come back in the car? I said, baby, look at me. Don't I float like a, a top of the butter cloud, like a moon and a star? She said, now you want to talk all poetic. I was like, well, damn, I said it. Let me pass out and wake back up and we can start all over. She said, I knew it. I knew it. You been out there down at that bar again, down at the lounge. I said, baby, right now I don't want to be rude, but I'm about to pass out on your ass. I'm drunk and I can't talk about I can't make a sound. Good night, baby. Give me a kiss. <laughs>